Albany's historic Ten Brook area in Arbor Hill is a city treasure. The recently completed renovation of eight buildings along Clinton Avenue and 11 Ten Brook Street is a shining example of the Albany Housing Authority's commitment to maintaining the city's history while building strong communities for a new generation. Where there was once vacant and derelict buildings, there are now 23 new apartment units and one commercial space, which will house the anti-violence program Operation Snug. The case of 11 Tenbrook Street illustrates the challenges even a single abandoned property can bring to a street and a neighborhood. One of the neighbors kept coming to me and saying, that building is really deteriorating and we knew we'd have to step in and help to save it. When you're living on a block in a city in which there are vacant or derelict buildings, you know, if you're raising children, it's a fear that your kids might get into the building and all kinds of uh, hazardous situations could arise. It kind of gets you into a feeling that this neighborhood is suffering from the economic downturn and the things that come with that. The $4.5 million project was funded through the Neighborhood Stabilization Program, a federal program created to combat the effects of the economic downturns of 2008-2009. In addition to federal support, the City of Albany's economic development team identified and led a coalition of state, local, and private partners to restore the buildings. Our role um, was from the very beginning securing the properties and the, and the money necessary to get the project done. Federal government brought together money to help bail out the banks and we were able to acquire property that had been foreclosed by a local bank and use part of the money to pay that bank for those properties and then use the bulk of the funding in order to rehab them for affordable housing. Finding the right developer and the right team to put it together, we couldn't have found a better choice with Albany Housing Authority and North Star Development into some of the best historic rehabs we've seen around here in a long time. The city, along with all their partners, were dedicated to getting input from neighborhood stakeholders in the renovation efforts from the start to finish of the project. We like to think of ourselves as stakeholders and partners in the neighborhood. And so a long time ago, we started going across the street and knocking on people's doors and saying, hey, you know, we're across the street and, and we're very interested in trying to better the neighborhood and would you want to get together with us periodically and talk about, you know, what the quality of life is here and what are some ways to improve it. There was a couple different proposals by private individuals that it was going to be a little bit more dense and the, and the neighbors didn't really want that. So when the Housing Authority came along, they talked about six units only. So it de-densified the neighborhood. If we work together, we can you know, create this critical mass and we can create a new perception for our neighborhood, a new beginning, and we can be a community of choice where people actually want to live, not have to live. The rehabilitation of the property and other properties like it throughout the city is a key part of the Albany Housing Authority's mission to provide quality, affordable housing while working with partners to create strong and sustainable neighborhoods for all city residents. It is an absolutely beautiful example of what a, you know, affordable housing should be <laughs> and be historic preservation. It's kind of a fine melding of both. Development is a team effort and neighborhood revitalization is a team effort. And over the past 10 or 15 years, we've really honed that down to, you know, if somebody has an idea, they'll pick up the phone, they'll call the other team members, and we'll get something going very quickly. Not one of us can do the work that we do alone. We don't have the resources, and so we really do rely on each one of, uh, of the team to bring that expertise to the table. Pride and ownership comes from the community because they're there from the beginning. They're there from the planning stage. They uh, meet with us regularly in implementing the plan when you remove blight. At the same time, you're providing services and good, clean, quality, affordable housing. That's what makes a community. And so by investing in these neighborhoods and having our neighbors get up in the morning and see the big construction crews there, and then followed by new sidewalks and the city coming in and putting in new streets, uh, it has an uplifting feeling, I think, that makes people feel good about their neighborhood and helps their self-esteem.